Fluids in a formation are under pressure. When drilled, this pressure can escape to the surface if it is not controlled. Normally, drilling mud offsets formation pressure. That is, the weight or pressure of the drilling mud keeps fluids in the formation from coming to the surface. For several reasons, however, the mud weight can become lighter than is necessary to offset the pressure in the formation. When this situation occurs, formation fluids enter the hole. When formation fluids enter the hole, this is called a kick. A blowout preventer stack is used to keep formation fluids from coming to the surface. These are called BOPs. By closing a valve in this equipment, the rig crew can seal off the hole. Sealing the hole prevents more formation fluids from entering the hole. With the well sealed or shut in, the well is under control. Rig crews use a surface BOP system on land rigs, jack-up rigs, submersible rigs, and platform rigs. They use a subsea BOP system on offshore floating rigs, like semi-submersibles, and drill ships. This can injure or kill, destroy the rig, and harm the environment. Rig crews therefore train and work hard to prevent blowouts. Usually they are successful, so blowouts are rare. But when they happen, they are spectacular and thus often make news. A kick is the entry of formation fluids into the well bore while drilling. A kick occurs when the pressure exerted by the drilling mud is less than the pressure in the formation that the drill string is penetrating. The mud that circulates down the drill string and up the hole is the first line of defense against kicks. Drilling mud creates additional pressure as it circulates. The mud pressure keeps formation pressure from entering the well bore. On the rig, they say mud keeps the well from kicking. Sometimes, however, crew members may accidentally allow the mud level or mud weight in the hole to drop. This drop in weight or level can happen for several reasons. For example, the crew may fail to keep the hole full of mud when they pull the pipe out of it. Or they may pull the pipe too fast, which can lower the bottom hole pressure. When the mud level or mud weight drops, the pressure exerted on the formation decreases. If either happens, formation fluids can enter the hole. If they do, the well takes a kick. In other words, when the formation pressure exceeds the weight of the mud column, then the well can kick. <laughs>